everyone. Uh, this is going to be my Booktubeathon final update, day seven, like wrap up, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's all over. It was fun. It was tiring, uh, but very interesting. It definitely pushed me into wanting to read more and uh, and actually forcing me to pick up some books that have been on my shelf for a while. So that was really good. So it was definitely well worth it, and I'm looking forward to doing a few more of these challenges and readathons if they pop up on YouTube later. So, um... The Booktubeathon challenge. Um, all the challenges are listed down below and kind of where I ended up with it, and I'll just kind of tell you right now as well. Um, one of the challenges was to listen to an audiobook, and there was another one to read a classic, and also to reread a book. And for those three challenges, I combined all into one, and I chose Lord of the Flies. So choosing that book definitely helped me uh, jump pretty uh, far ahead in the challenges and everything. So that was really well worth it. It was 182 pages total. Uh, the next challenge was to read a book that's been on your shelf for a very long time. And I had chosen uh, the Doctor Who novella Time and Relative by Kim Newman. Uh, I chose this because it's been on my shelf for about 11 years. And it was a fairly quick read so I could knock that challenge right out. So then it set me four out of seven challenges completed. This is 115 pages. Um, from there on... Um, Working for eight hours a day and having very little time by the time I came home, I had to kind of resort to a lot of audiobooks. So I had already started um, The Power of Six by Epidicus Lore prior to um, the Booktubeathon starting. So from where I left off, I had 340 pages to complete this book, and so I finished listening to this one. Um, I also listened to The Encourageable Children of Ashton Place, and I'll put a cover up here. So that was a fairly enjoyable middle grade book. Um, it's about three kids that were sort of raised in the wild, supposedly by wolves. And in the beginning on the audio, all they do is howl. So it's kind of embarrassing um, listening to this at work because I was so afraid that someone would like, walk in right when you hear this howling coming from my iPod. And they'd be like, what the heck are you listening to? But luckily nobody walked in at that moment. So it was all good. Um, that book had a total of 267 pages. Um, another audio that I listened to was The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funka, and this was um, 345 pages. It's also a middle grade book. Uh, it takes place in Venice, and I really enjoyed that. I'll go over more of that, um, of the books and stuff, at my end of the month wrap up. But I just definitely enjoyed that one. Uh, one of the other challenges is to uh, complete a series, and I had chosen Light by Michael Grant. This is the last in the Go On series. This is my all time favorite read for the Booktubeathon. My all-time favorite conclusion to a series. I mean, it was the best wrap-up. It was just phenomenal. Uh, I can't recommend the series highly enough. And the final... Oh, and that had um, 413 pages total. And the final challenge, which I had hoped to um, complete... Well, there's two other challenges, actually. Um, read a 500-plus page book and read 300 pages a day, which would total up to 2,100 pages. And I really didn't think of all the challenges that would be the one I could do. Um, so I was kind of shooting for all the others, and for the 500 plus page book, I had picked Nevermore by Kelly Krieg, and I had started this, unfortunately, pretty late, not uh, not so late Saturday, and I only got about 50 pages read on Saturday, and by the time uh, Sunday rolled around, it was getting quite late, and I was running out of hours and energy, <laughs> I ended up stopping at about um, 252 pages, so I failed to complete this challenge. And um, if I would have just managed 186 more pages, I would have actually um, completed the other challenge, which was a, read a total of 2,100 pages for the week. I actually read 1,914, so literally 186 pages short. So overall, I just failed on two of the challenges, but I am still reading this book, and I am absolutely enjoying it. Um, it starts out almost with just a contemporary feel to it, and then this sort of paranormal twist starts coming in, and... Of course, there's whole references to Edgar Allan Poe, which I am thoroughly enjoying. So it makes me want to pick up my Edgar Allan Poe book and delve into that. So it was definitely fun. I really enjoyed the challenges. Uh, I enjoyed um, participating with all the different uh, sprints and, and other Mad Lib things and things they were doing on Twitter. It was a lot of fun. I definitely recommend you guys try it out. I want to thank Ariel and Raylene for hosting this event. And I'm so looking forward to um, hopefully participating if they host it again. So... Thanks for watching, everybody, and hope you um, try out some of these books. Happy reading.